Roman numerals up to a thousand. In this nugget, the learning objective is to read and write Roman numerals up to a thousand. You're likely to be familiar with I, V, X, L and C. So let's go over these Roman numerals and check that we understand what they represent. So, I represents 1. V represents 5. X represents 10. L represents 50 and C represents 100. Now we're going to look at another Roman numeral, and that's D. D represents 500. And finally, M represents 1000. So let's look at this set of Roman numerals, D, L, I. So what's the value of these Roman numerals? Let's find out. D represents 500, L 50 and I 1. So to find the value of D, L, I, we need to add them together. 500 add 50 add 1 is 551. Now let's look at another set of Roman numerals. This time, D, C, L, X, X. So D represents 500, C, 100, L, 50, and X, 10, and another X, which is another 10. So we add these all together. It's easier to add them in chunks. So let's add the hundreds together first. 500 add 100 is 600. And now the tens. 50 add 10 add 10 is 70. So then we add these two numbers together. 600 add 70 is 670. So this is the value of the Roman numerals. So now let's start with a number and see if we can turn it into Roman numerals. To help us, we're going to partition the number. So let's start by working out what 800 would be in Roman numerals. So, to make 800, we'd do 500 plus 3 lots of 100. So that would be D, C, C, C. So 800 is just D, C, C, C. So now we've got the hundreds, let's focus on the tens. So how do we make 20 using Roman numerals? So 20 is made up of 10 and 10, that's x and x, and now just the 1. To make 1 is just i. Now, when we recombine these Roman numerals, we can see that 821 in Roman numerals is d, c, 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 x, x, i. Now it's your turn. See if you can work out what 765 is in Roman numerals and what DCLXXI is as a number. Pause the video and have a go. So let's start by working out what 765 is in Roman numerals. So. Again, we can partition the number to help us. So, let's work out first of all what 700 is in Roman numerals. To make 700, we do 500, add 100, add another 100. This, in Roman numerals, would be D, C, C. Let's move on to the 60. To make 60, we do 50, add 10. Now 50, is L and 10 is X, so we've got L, X. And now for the 5, the 5 is just V, so we add the V on. So 765 is D, C, C, L, X, V. Very well done if you got that correct. Now let's see if you correctly wrote D, C, L, X, X, I as a number. Did you start by looking at the hundreds? D, C. 
Now D represents 500, C represents 100, so the total of the hundreds is 600. Then the tens, L, X, X represents 50, adds two lots of 10, which is 70. And then you've got the I, which is just one. So now if you added these values together, you should have got the number 671. Well done if you did. Now, let's have a look at this. 400. To make 400, we could add together four lots of 100. In Roman numerals, this would look like this. C, 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 C. But, this would be incorrect. One of the most important rules about Roman numerals is that you can't have more than three of the same numeral together. So, how could we make 400 then? What you do is, instead of adding, you'd use subtraction. 500 subtract 100. So 500 is D, 100 is C, and to show that we want to subtract, we must put the smaller value, which is C, before the larger value, which is D. So this brings us on to our second rule in Roman numerals, which is if a smaller value comes before a larger value, then you need to subtract. So now let's look at this number, 925. So let's start by working out what 900 would be in Roman numerals. Now to make 900, we can't do 500 add four lots of 100 because remember we can't have more than three of the same numeral together. So we're going to have to use subtraction here. So to make 900 we can do 1000 subtract 100. So 1000 is M and 100 is C. So we need to make sure that the C, which is the smaller value, comes before the M, which is larger. So that's the hundreds sorted. Now let's move on to the tens. So the value of the tens is 20. To make 20, we need to do 10, add 10, and that would be x, x. And 5 is just v. We recombine those Roman numerals and we can see that 925 in Roman numerals is cm xx v. Now let's have a look at this set of Roman numerals and see if we can work out what number it represents. So let's start with the hundreds cm. So m is a thousand but it's got a smaller value before it. C. C is a hundred, so we need to subtract. A thousand subtract one hundred is nine hundred. Now let's move on to the tens. L, X. L is fifty and X is ten, so fifty and ten is sixty. And now on to the ones. I, V. I is a smaller value than V, so we need to subtract. V is 5 and I is 1, so that's 5 subtracts 1, which is 4. Now we add these totals together to get our answer 964. Now it's your turn. See if you can write 936 in Roman numerals and write the Roman numeral CDLXXIV as a number. Pause the video and have a go. So let's start with 936. Did you partition it into 930 and 6? Did you work out to get that 900 you'd need to do 1000 subtract 100 which would be CM and then 30 is 3 lots of 10 x is 10, so add another x, 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 and then to make 6, you'd need to do 5, add 1, which 
would be VI. So well done if your answer was CM XXX VI. Now for CD LXX IV, you should have looked at the hundreds, which is CD. CD means 500 subtract 100, which is 400. And then LXX represents 50 and 10 and 10, which equals 70. And then for the ones, you've got IV, because I is the smaller value coming before the larger value, which is V. That's another subtraction, so that's 5, subtract 1, which is 4. So, if you added those all together, you should have got the answer 474. Well done if you did. So with Roman numerals, the two key rules to remember are that you can't have more than three of the same numeral together and if a smaller value comes before a larger value, then you need to subtract.